the sheer amount of screens that Virginia just does not guard in any way is mind-boggling. That's a down screen right here, right out of a baseline, out of bounds. So I'm attached to my man with my arms extended. So the Colorado State player cannot curl right off this. Or I could just switch. But I have to do something. You're not guarding the screen at all. Look at the separation. So what are you doing about this handoff? Pugh. Virginia loves to hedge. And that's great. Hedging is great if you do it right. I've got to get up here. I cannot, cannot, cannot let the ball handler turn the corner. Cannot. You got backside help right there for the roll. But if the ball handler turns the corner on a hedge, you're done. You're done. You're done. First of all, you're guarding the ball. Your only focus is the ball. We are not worried about an entry pass being made. Now, defender at the top of the key has got to rotate into the gaps, right? Feet set, defensive stance. There should be no place to go. But why is the on-ball defender getting blown by? Look at this. Gambling thinking an entry pass is going to happen. Turn the corner. <sighs> Guard with urgency. In train the tournament. Lose and you go home. Like, I got to get over to my, I got to get my feet set in a defensive stance right here. So when the ball gets swung, boom, I'm flying back out. I'm ready to guard. Urgency. March madness. Look at the defense. Slowly backpedal. Not even, you were going towards the paint on the pass out. Rip and go. Draw two. Corner three. Poorly coached nonsense. Poorly coached. Ball gets swung to the wing. I'm immediately rotating down in the gaps. My feet are set. I'm in a defensive stance. Pointers out. Seeing ball, seeing man. Ready to fly back out when the pass gets made back to the top of the key. That's tiptoeing back. All right, now the ball gets swung to the top of the key. What? So you're not going to be ready to guard. You're going to be late getting up and guarding. I got to rotate to the ball, right? To the wing. In the gaps. Feet set. No place to go. Stunt. Recover. Shell drill in a game. March madness. Loser goes home. Look at this. Look at tiptoeing. Tiptoeing, tiptoeing by Virginia. Just garbage. Ap Tony Bennett should be fired. There's a flare screen right here. I'm calling out flare, flare, flare. The defender has got to go over the top of the flare screen. Are you what going under the flare? Really? <laughs> Virginia's hedging. You know you're, you need to be in backside help here. You know this. So I'm already starting to cheat up a little bit. Cheat up a little bit. Cheat up a little bit. I got to get my feet set. Like, you haven't moved yet. I should already be in backside help with my feet set. So the pass isn't made, but on a skip pass, I can recover back out. Look at how long it's taking you going towards the man as the pass is getting made back to the man you're guarding, and it just grab and go for a deuce. Virginia's again hedging. First of all, I got to get up. The quicker I get that dribble cut off, the quicker I can ro rotate back to my man who's popping off this screen. So you're not even getting close to up and up. The ball handlers turn the corner. Again, there's got to be some movement though on the backside. Like this defender right here for Virginia has got to get up. I mean, I got to stunt at the ball and delay this man a little bit from shooting and then recover so that we can have a chance to actually get back and guard one-on-one. -on -one. There's no movement. There's got to be some movement. None. Practice three. And it's just walking in transition. It's the NCAA tournament. It's sprint back, please. Sprint back, please, and get in help. Like, I know your man's across half court. I still got to get in help. I should be sprinting to the top of the key. Now that now I know, okay, I have help in the middle of the floor. I can get up and shade the ball handler towards where my help is. But you're walking back. That's backpedaling. I should be right there in help. Right there. Two points. First of all, don't gamble, please. Just get to the top of the key. Be in help. Be in the gaps. You gamble out. Now this driving lane's there. But let's back it up another problem that's happening right here. How about down low? Let's keep the Colorado State big man out of the paint. Out of the paint right now. Like you're just letting him sit there and now he's got you sealed. So now on this screen right here, which you could easily switch, you're fronting. So you screen two Virginia Cavaliers. Now Virginia does send the double. First of all, this rotation should be automatic anyways. As soon as the man goes to double down, you got to take the strong side wing. Like, you're going to leave the weak side wing. You can rotate out. So you're going to be late to rotate here on the cut right here. That's poor coaching. But now, all right, you're busting it to the corner on the rotation out to the weak side corner. So playing up, focus on the ball, please, when he catches. Focus on the ball. Look at the defender. Again, gambling, trying to get a deflection on a pass out. Cooked. Oh, this is not how you guard a handoff, ever. 
I'm up jamming the screener using my body showing my hand so that the ball handler is not pulling off the handoff and we can go under and meet on the other side. Instead, you're taking a step back and the Virginia players going over. So now the big man for Colorado State's all the way in the paint. By the way, let's check out the gaps. Back to the sideline. Eh, to the baseline. Right? And be able to stunt and be able to recover. You're nowhere because your back's to the sideline. And this is another two points. And Tony Bennett is atrocious. Another awful hedge. Virginia hedges all the time. Why are they terrible at it? All the way up. All the way up, the ball handler cannot turn the corner on the hedge. Not even freaking close. By the way, because he turns the corner, how about our gap defense? Feet set, back to the baseline, right? It can help and then recover. Nope, back to the terrible hedge. Then you're going towards the ball on the kick out. So that'll be a pump fake and go drive for another two. Virginia hedges all the time, like all season long. So why are they so terrible at it? What do you do in practice is not okay. I've got to get up. i got to cut that dribble off right there. You cannot let the ball handler turn the corner. you got plenty of backside help for the man rolling. But again, you're not up enough. Turns the corner. So you got the drop-off pass right there is open. And because he's in the lane, the skip pass couldn't be easy. Another, another pump-and-go drive. This is unbelievable. Fire every coach. Graduate assistant everything. It's a down screen. Virginia will just casually not guard it. That's not really the problem, though. The problem is, again, on this handoff. Up, jamming the screener, using her body, showing her hands. We're going under, meeting him on the other side. You never go over a handoff, ever. Now you got to guard the ball. Practice three. I could have hit that. Yeah, I mean, there's just should, there should not be a soul left with Virginia basketball's coaching staff. Not one. Cross screen right. This is offensive. This is really offensive. This is so basic. I'm attached. I got to jam the Colorado State man as he comes through so the defender can get on the other side. This is offensive. You don't, don't touch him. Lay up. Now this does burn you. Good. This not another down screen. I got to defend it. I'm either switching right there or I'm attached to my man right here with my arms extended so the player for Colorado State can't curl. You don't guard it. So the defender just got screened. He's four steps behind the ball handler. You're going to try and trap off this handoff. Well, guess where the second part of this trap is? Nowhere to be found because he's still fighting over the top of that screen that you didn't defend. So this isn't really a trap. It's just two guys standing in the vicinity and easy, easy, easy. First of all, another cross screen you just don't defend. Again, I'm attached to my man setting the screen the whole time. Attached. Then I'm jamming the player as he comes through to knock him off the spot, but I'm attached the whole time. See, you're unattached right here. Stop. So before this screen even gets set, you're two steps back. So you're not going to be able to get over the screen in time. Again, how do we rotate to the ball? Do we get right back down to the wing on the pass? In the gaps right here, we can help out, right? I can stunt. I can recover, get the dribble picked up. Nope. Nowhere. Tony Bennett is god-awful. Yep, and just one more to close. Why not? Cross screen again. What does Virginia do in practice? What do they do in film? What does anyone on that coaching staff do? Anyone. Graduate assistants. Anyone. Cross screen. I got to jam the player for Colorado State coming through so the Virginia defender can get on the other side. You don't touch him again. Lay up again. You going to do that next year? 